We're going to make some veggie mac and cheese today. I have some nice fresh green beans that we're going to cook uh, whole. We're just going to place them in some boiling water just to get the cooking started on these guys while we cook the macaroni. To the boiling water, I'm going to add some broccoli florets too. Nice fresh broccoli. And we're going to mix this with some delicious mac and cheese. And right now we're going to get the macaroni boiling as well. For the macaroni, we're going to use some medium sized shells. We're going to add them to the boiling water. I'm going to use a pound. In the meantime, we'll make the cheese sauce. For the cheese sauce, I'm going to use a 12 ounce bag of sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to use a package of Velveeta cheese. You can either buy the slices or the um, loaf, <laughs> but um, we're going to add that to the container. Some um, red pepper crushed and some pepper jack. I'm probably going to use half of this block of eight ounce of eight ounce pepper jack cheese. This is going to be combined with a little milk and we're going to microwave it, make it nice and smooth so that when we combine all the ingredients together, they will um, they will blend nicely. And I'm also going to cut up I'm also going to cut up a couple of red peppers and add those pieces, but I'm not going to cook them first. Okay, this will go into the crock pot and the combination of all of them, we're going to let it sit together for about two hours before the guests arrive to eat the mac and cheese along with the pulled pork sandwiches that we're making in another video. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we're going to microwave this for about 10 minutes, get it all melted and mix it together and make it nice and creamy. There's a nice cheese mixture. Okay, I have the crock pot here. I'm going to take the boiled and drained macaroni. These are the medium shells. Then we're going to add the vegetables that are steamed, broccoli and green beans. All right, the cheese mixture has been bubbling and if we um, blend it together a little bit, it'll get nice and creamy. All these mixtures of cheeses on top will um, cook down into the macaroni and vegetables as the next couple hours go by. Okay, let's finish it up here. We have some chopped up red peppers, really nice. And we have very creamy cheese sauce, all blended together very nicely. Pour that on. And I really just want to toss it in there because as the crock pot heats, it will bubble and spread out and cook nicely without us disturbing the vegetables too much. We're going to put the crock into the Betty Crocker crock pot. Okay, now we have a nice crock pot full of 
veggie mac and cheese to take along to the cousin's party today. We're going to set it on a keep warm setting since everything in it is cooked and it'll be ready to serve when the guests get there. If you like my recipes, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.